Hello again. Uh, this week, as you can see, is a very different video. What we're looking at now is uh, our dining, dining table, um, which is what I use for my uh, gaming table. Now, I will get round the fact, I mean, it is, a, it is a long table. I mean, normally we wouldn't have the middle extension piece in. Um, but we've got used to just leaving that in now. But what I do to actually make it so I can lay my battle mats on it is I use some XPS, um, some black XPS. And uh, I'll show you that now. Right, so as you can see, basically what I've got is three 2x4s. And what I've done is I've cut down another piece took measurements underneath my table so I can put these right up to the very edge so it stops them sliding off the table or sliding around and because it is this XPS foam it really holds its place well and although it's not particularly thick it does do the job because it's supported by the table and that's what keeps it flat um, when it's in place. And of course, as you can see, the main thing is it's extremely light. And then all I need to do for them is that uh, display cabinet over there where I keep my buildings. I actually just stuck it up at the side near that green sheet. And it's largely out of sight. So that kind of helps me with the storage problem. It's not very weighty, so it's not a big ordeal getting it out and getting it together quite quickly. And as I've shown you before, my soldiers actually keep on display now. In I've got a cabinet on that wall. One on that wall. And then the final one on that wall. Um, I never used to do that. I used to have them stored away in boxes. But now I find that better because... I can look at them any time and, and they are quite decorative to look at so it's not a problem and luckily I've got a really forgiving wife who don't mind me doing it. So let me just show you how I put this on, I mean there's nothing to it really. Literally turn it over, and once you actually get that in place over the table Look, you can see the two bars that I've put on the back stop it sliding. And there I've got my flat surface. Turn over the mi middle one. Sorry about the wobbly camera. You can see that's just popped up there. Once you push down and it grips the side of the table, there. obviously it's popped up because I've walked away from it. But as you can see, that now gives me my 6x4 playing surface so if you bear with me I'll roll out one of my battle mats on it and you can see how that looks and there you can see the actual battle mat which fits perfectly on the board it's curling up a little bit at this end because it's this particular mat's been curled up for some time I've not had this one out for ooh, easy six months but obviously it's only a matter of curling it back the other way next time so but as you can see that gives me a full 6x4 table but with a minimum of fuss as regards storage and obviously I've got currently I've got three of these I've got this one uh, with the road system on it which I think you've seen before in a really early video so it's got the actual road details 
on it. And then I've got another one that's just largely you're just green, so it's open fields, you can put your roads where you want them. And then I've got the third one, which is the snowy environment that I use for the Battle of the Bulge battles. But uh, the main purpose of the video is just to show you how I got round, you know, the lack of space that I have to deal with. And uh, kept it fairly lightweight and unobtrusive. As you can see, the beauty of these is that the, the XPS is very light. Now, I know my table is a fairly big table. Um, but it, it's not four foot wide. It's, a, it's just over three foot wide. But because so much of the XPS lays on the table, it supports the other part will take the weight of buildings and everything else. So it's not a problem. So you could adapt this idea if you've got a smaller round table. There's no reason why you couldn't cut the XPS to suit. And, you know, if it needs more support, just go for a slightly thicker XPS. But uh, the beauty is you can store it quite easily. I put mine over there by the, by the display cabinet. Or you could even store it under a bed or something. Right, so thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you've found some of it interesting and maybe it'd be useful to you as a different technique. And uh, if you have liked it, please consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to see which uh, you know future videos that come down. Right, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.